Hello, welcome back to our video. Uh, I'm going to show you today uh, another uh, easy thing that we can do in Vensim. Uh, again, I, I start with the, with the model we have built already before. So we start with started with the population of the Czech Republic. Then we said that we have a certain product for which we know the percentage of users, and we have created a total market for our product. Then we have split the market in our compet our clients and the clients of competition, and we have uh, seen a nonlinear effect of the change in price on demand. We have created a graph function, all right. And uh, now I would like to show you another thing. Uh, I would like to show you how to model delays. Because a price is not the, the only thing that affects the demand for our product. And I'm going to show you awareness. Okay? In order for people to know about our product, we need to build awareness. So I will, build, I will create a box variable, awareness. Okay, and we need to build it somehow. So actually the input into awareness will be marketing investments marketing investments okay and actually marketing investments are also affected by something okay so we can call it marketing intensity okay so I'll create another thing called marketing intensity group so now we are basically all set and we will actually create these arrows showing that awareness will actually affect the number of our clients. Marketing intensity will affect marketing investments. And awareness will be affected by marketing investments and vice versa. Okay, so for now I will set up marketing intensity from 1 to 10. And we will start with uh, marketing intensity, let's say 2. 1 means we have the lowest possible marketing intensity, 10 means highest possible. So let's say it's, it's 2 at the beginning. And now awareness. I will set up initial value for the awareness. Initial value for the awareness will be 1 because we are at the beginning. Again, awareness will be from 1 to 10. 1 means very low awareness, 10 means full awareness. And now I'm going to, to show you how to model delay because awareness of the product will not be built overnight. It's going to take some time and that's why we need to use a delay function. There are many ways how to do it in Vensim, but my personal favorite is, is this one. Okay, so we'll use the function min and we will basically do a very simple thing. It's going to be this will enter one bracket. So divided by 50. And this. Great. And now we have basically used the delay function. And the higher this number that we are actually dividing the difference between marketing intensity and awareness, the higher the delay will be. Okay, so in this case we use 50, if you use 20, awareness will be a little faster. If you use 100, it will take longer to build the awareness. And now we need to have a look at actually how does it affect our clients. So before it was only affected by the price effect on demand. Okay, now we will actually add there the awareness effect and divide by 20. Great. So I will add one more graph because here we have uh, our, the graph of our clients. I will add one more thing. It's going to be awareness. Okay, so we can see how is the awareness actually built over time. Okay, so let's simulate. Right, and what we see, uh, I set up the awareness, at the beginning I set up awareness to 1. 
okay and we we said that the marketing intensity from 1 to 10 will be 2 and we see that over time over the 100 months the awareness is actually built somewhere to 2 okay because if the intensity is 2 we, sooner or later we will get to 2 all right if i increase the marketing intensity let's say to 4 i see that over time since the marketing intensity is higher if you are investing more we are actually building it faster and you'll get much higher over the time if i set up the marketing intensity to 10 i see that even in this case over the time of 100 months we will not get to the full awareness which will be which would be 10 but anyway we see how is it actually affecting our clients i see that if the marketing intensity is one number of our clients is actually decreasing slightly it's decreasing with the population of Czech Republic decreasing but if we invest a little bit more we see that the awareness is being built and also number of our clients is increasing if we invest even more we see that the number of our clients is actually getting pretty high okay now I'm not moving the price if I decrease the price let's say to 50 and I keep the marketing intensity on the level of 10 I see that the number of our clients will get pretty high and actually if we get to the number 600,000 since we said at the beginning that the percentage of users is 6% I see that we are getting most of the market okay but uh, actually the aim what I wanted to show you in this video was how to uh, how to simulate or how to model delays and as I said, the way how I do it, uh, my personal favorite is using this function. Okay, thank you. And actually in our next video, I'm going to show you how to implement a feedback loop. Because now we are actually investing as much as we want. We, we don't really care. And I want to implement a relation between how much are we actually getting, how much sales do we have, and what percentage of sales are we reinvesting back into marketing?